All right, welcome back. More daily duels. It, it it feels like it's been like forever since I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I swear to Christ, it has. It's only been like a couple of days, but still, it just feels like forever. Anyway, people, welcome back. More daily duels. How y'all doing today? I'm doing I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, first things first. I need to apologize about no live stream on Saturday. I lost track of time. I wanted to. Li I wanted. I totally wanted to live stream. I think there's an excuse, and there is a reason. Usually, when there's no live stream or something like that, I'll inform you. But I kind of just dropped the ball. I was so busy with homework, trying to wrap up this special education course that I'll be talking about in this video, that I was literally working on homework, working on homework, working on homework, and, and then I was like. What time is it? Like, it shouldn't be around time to do the live stream. It was like 12 o'clock. Like, time just went by. It was like, ah, oh, fuck. You know, ah, I would love to grab that card of demise, but I don't think it's the greatest card to grab right now. Like, I think the strike would be a little bit stronger. Uh, especially since I drew the Dark Magician Girl, but I can always pitch her with uh, chocolate next turn, so that's not terrible. Let's go ahead and set some back row. Set some back row. Set some back row. Hopefully, you don't get blown back by Twin Twister. <laughs> And then, I mean, I, also, I always got my Dark Renewal, so that's nice. But drawing Dark Magician Girl is not the greatest of draws. <laughs> I'm glad I can actually summon it back from the graveyard with Dark Renewal, but I might have to summon the other one. No, my opponent's just going to take it slow. I, I say I either kick my butt and I end up drawing the card of demise anyway. Like, all right, awesome. <laughs> all right, so we already know. It's a Dark Magician Girl. Don't need that. Draw another card. Aha, clicking. Awesome. Um, I guess I'll just attack. Like, there's... There's really no point in me not attacking. <laughs> yeah, reveal your deck to me. Oh, Ying Zing. Sorry. Well, this should be fun. And by fun, I mean not fun. No, that's fine. <laughs> All right, this duel's gonna take a millennium. <laughs> there you know, I'm not the biggest fan of dueling against Yang Zings, but uh, yeah. So I mean, he attacks. Barry, I could just summon a stronger Dark Magician girl like Kiwi, and he'll just he'll just get fucked up. So I'm gonna hold on to the Cardamize right now. I'm up on resources. I'm not doing okay. No one ain't pointing me Cardamizing, and there's not much I can save. You know, what the fuck is this? Oh, I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this? I oh, it's at, it's at Dolan's. All right, sure, sure, why not? Ah, uh, I think I have to do this when my opponent normal summons. Yeah, when my opponent would normal summon. Or special summon up monsters. I can always just, you know, tribute the Idolin. Get rid of him. Yeah. That's actually pretty decently strong. Yeah, you don't need him. I mean, you need him, but you don't need him. As in, you don't need him to do your fusion. I, I, I'd say that's my biggest gripe with this Idolin deck. It's just so reliant on Alistair. Like, completely reliant on Alistair. <laughs> like, like, what are you doing if you don't have Alistair, right? Oh, never mind. You have another Alistair. Sure. Oh, you could just banish from the graveyard. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, is that Quaking or Regular Mirror Force? I think Regular Mirror Force. And if he has a trap, then I can just strike him anyway. I'm not sure if he has the trap. Nope, he doesn't. The Yangzi monster still gets to float. I need, I need to learn Idolins. Like, I'm not going to do them in card review, but I should learn them. Yay, Yang Zing's floating like son of a bitches. <laughs> so I guess it really didn't matter if I fused with him. I mean, tributed to him or not. I kind of thought that if I stopped him and he wasn't on the field, but I forgot they could just vanish in the graveyard. So I guess you're really not too reliant on him, are you? <laughs> I just sent this... I mean, I'm not gonna get any damage in, so cooking card of mine is just useless. Like, I mean, whether I do anything is just useless or not, it doesn't matter. I'm not getting damage in. It's fucking Yang Zings. Like, ah, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Yang Zings just because they float so hard. So hard. It's like an entire deck of floatiness. Like, yay. You know? Like, if I was just facing Idolins, okay, we can go with that. But just the fact that it's also, um,. Yang Zings as well, just makes it his, so he'll always have resources, he'll always have plays. It's hard for me to get really aggressive in this duel. Um, but I mean, whatever I get, I'm just gonna pitch with chocolate anyway. It really doesn't matter. Uh, that'd be nice. I think I want to save this, and I want to save this. Like, drawing is nice, but I'm okay for right now. 
Mel at plus. So there's nothing to really scoff at, but I mean, he he has resources too. This duel's gonna take a millennium, a millennium. Mm-hmm. But I guess Yang Zing's on a terrible deck to go ahead and splash that Dolan's with. So, mm-hmm. Now would be a good time to have like Vanity's Emptiness, the fucking win more card. Uh, the water one that can attack in defense position that I can't really do anything to right now. Yep, go ahead and grab everything back. Like, he is just keeping up with the resources. What does this do? It's card in your hand. You try to have the monsters in your hand or face up on the field, including a fire monster, and destroy them. Like, oh shit. The fuck am I looking at? Like, like what is this deck? Like, seriously, what is this deck? Like, it's like Yang Zing, Disaster Dragon, this deck, like, what is this? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, man. Everything he, everything he does, he just gets all his cards back. Like, this is actually a very difficult duel because he can always constantly keep up resources. Like, yay. <laughs> oh, that's definitely a threat. So I'm gonna have to Dark Renewal that. Something me another Dark Mission Girl. So, that's nice to at least have two Dark Mission Girls. But this thing in best mode and all that. So it attacks, but it applies its attack for damage calculation. Okay. And then it can't be targeted, destroyed by card effects, so it's like a weird magic specter monster. It's just ugh. This card target. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it totally targets. Some gate spells or traps, that's nice, but that doesn't help me. Like, I don't think there's any really rank sixes that can handle this situation, though. So. This is turn to then target one face up monster. Yeah, change transition. <sighs> uh, there's not too much I can do right now. <laughs> like th this son of a bitch right here is just fucking me real good. Do I have another three? I mean four micro? No. If I Probably should have got another Choco involved. I've been o I would have been okay. Like I said I could Aya Tamias, but I mean, really, what's the point of that either? So this is difficult because this card cannot be targeted in Shrug card effect. It's like dealing with a Magic Specter with 29 booty. Like the only thing that keeps Magic Specters in check is that they have low attack. But this situation sucks. Uh Just take it slow. You Choco. I'll pitch Choco because I have called Hunter. Wait, I could just normal summon her. I was thinking I'll pitch her, but then I kind of want these because I can go into like a Utopia, Utopia Lightning next turn. If I take it slow, I have Strike and I have a Quaking, so at least I can stop him from going too off. And then I'll be able to go into Utopia Lightning and run this over. But God, if he just keeps on grabbing shit back and cards and resources back, I don't know how I'm going to be able to keep up. <laughs> the whole point of the deck is to nag him on resources and eventually, you know, slowly whittle away his plays and resources and beat him. But <laughs> it's kind of difficult when this man always has something. Wow, I got another chocolate. All right, well, I guess I'll use chocolate and pitch chocolate. Draw the next card. Treacherous Trap, trap, trick, trap Hole Nightmare. It's not a terrible card. So we'll just go ahead and Utopia, Utopia the Lightning. Run that, run this motherfucker over, because that's clearly the only thing I can do against it. Might as well put on, slap on Prime as well. Mine as well. Like, generally I've been putting in Prime in the extra deck just because if I'm going to use Utopia Lightning, for one more extra deck spot, I get to use this effect twice, so, you know. Usually it would just be like, summon Utopia Lightning right now, and then not really be able to do too much else after I use this one effect. He'd just be at 25 minutes, which is still not, not terrible. But now, I can use this effect twice, and now if he even thinks about, you know, coming after me, I still got, you know, uh, one more one more time with the effect, which is pretty, pretty powerful. So, 
kind of just thought he was safe. He kind of just left the Dolan Beast there. He's like, he can't get over it. It's like, yeah, I'm going to get over it. He's, as soon as you saw the two level four monsters, you should have been like, oh shit, he's going to get over it, you know? But instead, you were kind of all passive with it, so. I don't know, my, all my truckos are gone. I mean, I can call the haunted, but for right now, I think I'm okay. Now the question is, should I do anything else? I mean, this is during me to play's turn, so that's pretty good. Just something that's a threat, I can set it, sit it down. She's good. She's good. Uh, I think I'm okay right now. I think I'm okay. Let's say when I affect or when a monster, when a monster effect is activated. So I think it's not a card, so I don't think I can negate during the damage step with. Foot. No, you can't negate during the damage step with foot. I'll strike. I'm sorry. You target one monster, controls, gain control of it until the end phase. So I can always just move his shit out of the way with Magi Magi next turn. So I'm just kind of wondering if he'll just take it slow, like set like a a Yang Zing and take it slow. Because if he does, I could just go into Magi, detach, take his shit, and then move it out of the way and then tap tap game. So I mean, I have treacherous. I mean, trap trick trap hole nightmare strike and the quaking so i'm hoping i'll be able to just hold him back for this turn make him take it slow enough for me to be able to wrap this door up next turn okay so you're gonna crash your monster into my dark condition girl take all that damage and then i could just strike you like i could just strike you like nah you could take that you could take that 2000 because obviously you have some kind of plan but i'm gonna be like no yeah, you know, and that's probably game, because all I have to do is just attack with Utopia Lightning, who has that amazing effect that you can't do anything this game. Ah, see, so you tried to be cute. You're like, I'm going to take this Yang Zing, crash into him, so probably summon Gia, Gia Pitch 2, and Main Phase 2, summon, like, no, 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 no. Yay, we won! Uh, and I haven't even started talking about what I want to really talk about. Anyway, be right back. All right, we're back. So, I was just busy with schoolwork. I finally got finished with the special education course. You look at the title, uh, Special Observation. Yeah, I actually got to do, uh, I, I got to do, I had to do uh, an observation for a special education class. I was having a really difficult time finding one. I couldn't find one, but the professor happened to find me one at an elementary school that was like, that's like right down the street from my house, like literally like maybe like less than a 10 minute drive. I was just boop, there. Uh, and it was it was a pretty cool experience. It really was. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in elementary school. I can tell you that. But hey, it was elementary school nonetheless. Definitely dark renewal. That, that card's so good. Plus, I don't want to set only two cards. Like the drownings are situationally good. Like if I if I do the drowning and blow him back, that's great. But majority of the time, I just have a monster on the field, so it's kind of like eh, no. Yeah, it really depends. It varies from deck to deck how I feel. But I think I think quaking is the best mirror force. I really do. I think quaking is the best. And then OG Mirror Force I'm starting to like as well. Oh no. Oh no. Really infusion. Yep, yep. So we don't use the Dark Renewal until I'm threatened. And I'm threatened. <laughs> I'm triggered. You triggered me. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so he's got multiple, multiple rank four plays. So this is just like a Minerva mill deck. Let's see, Trick Clown. Some of the four going to Minerva mill, 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 mill. Why does the Slappy's art look weird? <laughs> Instant Fusion for Norden already? Like, isn't it too, a little early to be doing that? Like, okay. I'm fine with that. I said, just wait. I like these kind of cards. Wow, Thousand Eyed Restrict. Ugh. Thousand Eyed Restrict. That's fine. <laughs> you wanna snatch up my berry? Snatch up my berry. Go off, go off. Oh, right, when I'm targeted, I can go ahead and change her battle position. And then summon a a magician girl. I forgot this when she's targeted by card effect too. I thought it was just when she's targeted for an attack. Like, nope. She's targeted, period. So, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I'll summon Choco. Wait, no. I don't want to summon Choco. That's bad. That's bad because there's nothing in my graveyard for me to block attacks with. Like, that was bad. <laughs> Choco was the wrong, wrong choice. Okay, I thought it was going to be this deck. I mean, I can always Dark Renewal when he actually summons like a threat, but I think it's about to just. So you can fuse that with that to summon, oh, his Reclasia. Uh, I mean, that's kind of a threat. Because <laughs> he could just send banish my monster, and I kind of suck, so I can just get rid of that. Still has one more additional normal summon, though. Kind of wondering if it would be worth it to just let him do it. Nah, I don't think so. The Yori shit, my shit, special summon Dark Mission Girl. 
that's one normal summon. He still has one more, and then, of course, he still has this, so. Oh, that's a tough choice. I think I... I mean, killing the Trick Clown is important, but then the additional normal summon. But I'm not sure if he has the additional normal summon, because he still had one last turn, and he didn't use it. He only normal summoned once. So. Really, I don't even know why this is in here. Like, like he could have just... He could have done all the plays that he did with this, with this, with this, outside of doing the Brilliant Fusion play, so. Yep. Go ahead and get your fusion. Well, I guess it could search you Brilliant Fusion, so the, I guess better synergy there. Um... So we'll just go ahead and summon Choco, Choco Send. Like I said, it's debatable on which one I should kill because this gives an additional normal summon, but this is just, you know, an easy additional play. All right, Drove Berry, that's, that's not great. So I could kill, attack, attack, and kill that twice. I wish I could kill this, but this I think is more of a threat because it's a four and he might be running level four, so. I mean, it'd be great for me if you don't activate the effect, but you are. All right, you are. So, I mean, I just had so much to do in this course, wrapping it up, and kind of fucked myself in one way, where she was thinking about plus, pressing the reset button on the test after I already took it. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to press the reset button, because then I had to retake it, and that would be a lot of work. But then I found out that I got all the answers for the test, so I was like, if you want to reset it, it's fine. And she's like, oh, I'm glad you, you don't want to reset it. You don't want to reset yours, so I don't reset it. But she says she'll probably want to curve it. Like, I, I, tried, I, I already said and complained about how difficult it was to get an A in this course. Like, I probably dropped my GPA. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I said, she's like, I kind of guilt trip her into uh, possibly giving me a higher grade or something like that. Well, he scooped. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so all that and still nothing. I'll get another dual bear back. Yeah, uh, I was like, wow, you know, I tried my hardest, I did all my work, it just kind of sucks that I won't get an A in the course, and I won't have my 4.0 GPA anymore, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo, you know, rip tears. Uh, so I was trying to guilt trip her into possibly uh, giving me a uh, a uh, a higher grade or curving. She said she was probably going to curve. She that, said that final was hard, and it was, it was harder than you would anticipate it to be, where it kind of lied to you, said like, oh, the final... It's just based off of week four, but it encompasses everything, and it was just a pain. Uh, once we turn on this card, target for attack, you can special summon a level five or lower from Spellcaster, and you're level six. Awesome. So this is probably one of the worst hands that I've gotten with this deck. <laughs> yeah. I think that it might be best to actually just summon her, set the, and then set these three cards, and then pray. The could I could card to mine. Could. I could and draw two. Like I said it's debatable on whether, but I mean these two aren't really going to protect me. I think it's best just to card demise right now. Yeah, I got a little bit better, a little bit better. Uh, we got the vanity, so that's nice. And then I got a dark renewal. So, I mean, and I got another dark renewal. I'm pissed on dark renewal, girl. But you know what? She wasn't doing anything in my fucking hand anyway. So, <laughs> and then just time to put my helmet on and control the duel. Hopefully, hopefully, like if he like throws her a deck at me, wow, like, you're gonna blind, you're gonna blind MST. That is fine. That is fine, sir. <laughs> Blind MST. All right. You know, it wasn't terrible. I kind of pot agreed it off that card of mine. It could have been stronger, but Dark Nation Girl was just kind of stuck in my hand. So you blind MST, now what? If then you hit my Quaking, it kind of sucks, but I still have things to do. Uh... No, that's fine. So you gonna summon another six samurai monster? You control a legendary six samurai monster. You control a legendary. You can special one this card from your hand. Once a turn, you can tribute one other six samurai monster to this select and destroy one card on the field. Ugh, it's a card. So I could just tribute him, and then he'll just be stuck there. Yeah. Unless you have another special summon. I'll just summon Dark Mission Girl. So, you got another one? You gotta make sure that you don't do that play. And if you do, then at least it'll be like the last thing you have. Wow, again? Ugh, that sucks. Because I really don't want you to do that. Like, Dark Renewal again. And we'll exchange this Dark Mission Girl for another Dark Mission Girl. And this is the whole reason why we run two Dark Mission Girls. Just so we could do this play. Oh, I guess you contribute yourself and then summon it. So I guess you don't need target. Like, no. I don't want you to get this effect. Watch him have another one. Nope, it's just ending this turn. Cool. Oh, I, that burned a lot of resources. 
I can just summon Choco and then tap tap. I'm okay right now. Plus, I still have the Vanity's Emptiness, so. It's just he kept on doing like it doesn't hear in special summon, so it's kind of odd to turn the timing. Oh, he just scooped! Yay! Yay! Ah, uh, I could get another one, but I really need to finish what I was talking about. Ugh. Um, I feel like I can get one more. One more. Bear back. Ooh, seriously, putting my helmet on and controlling these duels right now. Uh, that's what we do up in this deck. Gotta draw a lot of monsters. So, if I can tribute off the Dark Magician Girl to summon the Dark Magician Girl, then I only need one Dark Magician Girl. I didn't know you could do that, because I thought she wouldn't be in the graveyard for the target yet. Hmm. Hmm, that's debatable. That is, that is, that is debatable. Definitely another Dark Renewal. I could probably just cut her down to one. I probably don't need multiple Dark Mission Girls. So I could activate this, Brawl and Pitch, but then the Apple wouldn't be terrible. I'm, I think I'm going to take it slow. I could activate the card of Demise and go a little bit plus, depending. But for knowing me, I'd probably just draw my monsters, and I can't summon any more monsters right now. Because Apple's not terrible if I can get her later effect. That whole target three other Magician Girl monsters and add them back to your hand. That's one. It's Dark Magician Girl. I mean, that card's kind of a threat, but not really. It's debatable on whether that card's a threat, because I don't want him to equip and then summon his fell grand and do all that shit, but it's in, in itself is not too much of a threat, so I'm kind of just wondering what he's going to do. So I'm just going to put Brave in the graveyard, then maybe do this play. No, put another foe. Put a Felgrin in the graveyard. Okay. Oh, now you're gonna go ahead and play the uh, Brave in the in the graveyard. Yep. I mean, it's a neg with your Dragon Ravine, but I mean, should be one other monster in this card in turn. Well, in the graveyard. So, yep. There's the Brave. So, Felgrand will be summoned next turn. So, see, this card really wasn't a threat. Didn't really do anything. He could he still could have done the play set up outside of my, uh, my, my situation. Wow, you're actually going to attack me? You, you know what happens when you attack me, right? You know what happens when you attack me, right? You get, you get fucked up. <laughs> so you can go ahead and attack my Dark Magician girl. Switch target over to her. You get halved, and then you run right into me. Oh, you don't have to attack? Oh, it's unaffected card effects, therefore it's unaffected by my effect to, you know, have you and then turn the attack over Dark Magician Girl. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. I said, when he's equipped, he's unaffected by card effects. I guess he was a threat. I guess he was a threat. Alright. So obviously Brave will go off to summon Felgrin. Then I could do my effect, but this card will still get to banish something. So, does he like select the target on summon? It's gonna target my Dark Condition Girl, and I can just go Dark Renewal. Tag out your shit, my shit, so I don't get banished. I go back to the graveyard, so that's nice. So in the end, you get nothing. It sucks that I special summon this turn, so therefore I can't, you know, do my card of demise. Apple doesn't do anything, so there's really no point in summoning her. She just attack over him and then set the bottomless. You know, two Felgrins in the graveyard, but it's the Arc Brave that's the threat. So, can Dark Magician Girl just attack over you? And that is, uh, that is, uh, Discord. That's the, oh my god, people are messing with me on Discord. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm done with the class. I'm done with the class and I'm already thrown into my next class, which is diversity, which is fine. I mean, like, I'm just going to play the race card all the damn time, so. What does Brave do when it's summon? This card special summon. You can banish as many face up spell trap cards your opponent controls as possible. This card gains attack equal to the blah, 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 blah. Okay. Surprised you didn't summon Felgrand. Oh my god, fucking Discord. <laughs> I really need to go on. 
Oh my god, I, I need to fucking do it. Because it's just the same person, same person. Like, you keep typing. Like, why can't you just type in one big message? Why is it all individual broken up messages? I can go ahead and tag out for another Dark Magician girl. I can tag out this Dark Magician girl for another Dark Magician girl. With all his resources. Because this card's a threat, because I can't get over it, so... Uh, I would consider this card a threat. A threat from me and... Enough for me to tag out Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, so I don't need one Dark Magician Girl, because Dark Magician Girl can... I can tribute off Dark Magician Girl and then summon that same exact Dark Magician Girl. So I don't need two. Anything, just draw, playing two is just dead drawing her. Like, that's, a, that's another piece of delicious back row that I could be running right now. Like I said, I might summon Apple and then Card Demise next turn. Now, this turn, it's... I mean, we're still in a threat, so because he can still just... Oh, right, it was sent. He still summoned it, so he can just do it again. I was like, well, I was like why would you do that? Because he could still just do the fucking plays, so... That sucks. God damn it. Fucking, fucking Arc Brave is, like, so good with the Felgrin. I could bottomless him, and I think that I think that's a good choice. I'm still gonna get banished, so that sucks. I'm running out of plays, and he could still just go, Dragon Ravine, pitch a card... Send another Brave. Brave can summon the other Felgrand, so he's still good. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, that call the hunted on that Arc Brave. I was like, it's a threat, and it's like, mm, yeah, not really. <laughs> yep, see? Pitch the Felgrand. I said it's a neg, but then in the end it's not, because he's still going to get his major plays. It's not too much that he can hit me with right now, so we can go ahead and go Arc Brave and then summon Felgrand, I guess. Banish my Dark Magician Girl, my second Dark Magician Girl in the graveyard, gave more attack. But... I'm about to just summon my apple and set this back row card to mine. Just draw three, so. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my right, Tomias is useless, so. No, my luck. I'll probably end up drawing it right now. <laughs> ha! How'd I call that shit? Wow. Alright. <laughs> it's like I'm psychic and, and I'm gonna pitch my Choco and I would really like to keep her. Like, that sucks. Then he still has, what, one more Arc Brave? Yeah, so you can just discard, send another Arc Brave, and then Arc Brave, Shellgrand, next turn, so. At least I have the Treacherous, I mean, the Trap Tricks Trap on Nightmare for this one, if I want to use it, but I might just let it go and then hit him with a Quaking. Like, ah, uh, how did I know I was gonna draw my Itemize when I have no more Dark Condition Girls in my deck left, so it's a complete dead draw. How did I know? <laughs> Uh, cause I'm psychic. So, banish that to special summon Redum. Then you'll activate Redum and I'll hit you with a trap trick trap old nightmare. Like, nah, you can just go ahead and nank. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so you want to discard that last card, send the... Uh, the thing? Wow, he drew the Arc Brave, alright. So that's all three Arc Braves. With the blue eyes. He's still okay right now. Uh, Cold Hunt is not a terrible draw. Oh, it'd be a really terrible draw if, if he banishes my Choco, because I kind of like to keep it, but knowing him, I think he's just going to banish my Apple. Yeah, that's fine. You can have that done when I'm mad at. So, I mean, this card is obviously way too strong for me right now, so... I could summon Choco, but that doesn't really do anything. Oh my luck, this is probably like another Call of the Haunted. <laughs> so you just Call of the Haunted the damn Arc Brave and it'd be sent to the graveyard and do all that shit all over again. It's just the fact that he's out of Arc Brave is nice. Then these would be nice if I can just deal with this. What's his booty? 2800, so even if I sit him down with Quaking, he'll still just be so fucking strong, and I would have called the Hunted Choco if I had any other magicians right now. Then I have one more Dark Renewal, and that's dead. Like, regular Mirror Force would be great right now. Drowning Mirror Force right now, but Quaking? Not so much. Not right now. Because I don't have any way of getting over this. Like, if I drew my last Choco, I call the Hunted Choco, summon Choco, and go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning, while this is face down. I might have to actually, might actually have to quicken this thing, because I cannot leave this thing on the field. 
a dragon green, that's fine. This doesn't do anything. Yeah, at this point I'm gonna quaking it. I, I wanted I wasn't sure if I wanted to quaking it, because it doesn't really do much, but now for now, I'm gonna sit you down and allow me to build up resources in place. Uh this other course seems like it's a lot easier than the last one. Yeah. Uh there's no tests, there's no quizzes, it's just lesson plans, essays, discussions, so the use so as long as the teacher's not too strict with the grading, I should be able to still get an A in the course, so that would be nice. So, I know he has a dragon fiend, and that's not doing too much. He kind of sent all his arc braves, but keep in mind he also is playing blue eyes, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just sends stone right now. Send ancient white stone. Send blue eyes, send ancient white stone. Send the blue eyes, send the blue eyes. No, just send blue eyes. He didn't even send an additional monster, just send blue eyes. That's a neg. Like, <laughs> okay. I guess maybe the blazes are just in there for the trade-ins? I don't know. I thought you were gonna actually do some actual blue eyes plays. Yeah, fuck it. I'll card it nice. Wow. Uh, I want none of these, to tell you the truth. None of these really save me. Got the warning, the vanities. I wish I didn't set this eye to Myus, though, but I kind of had to. But no, I kind of just pitched it. I wish I didn't set the eye to Myus, because the card literally does nothing. It's just a dead card. Uh, the Drowning or the Strike? Drowning and Strike. I'm kind of worried that he'll just summon that back. I could just blow it back to the deck, but then he could just send it back to the deck. Yeah, I think the Strike is stronger, stronger set. Oh, wow, this is going extremely slow. <laughs> ah, these magician girls. They took the deck again. Take out a dark magician girl, even though I lost both of them. And my apple. I draw any magician girl. Like, where, where's my, uh... Where's my little one? Oh, shit. Yay, gospel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna van these that, like... <laughs> Fucking gospel, no. And then, I think I'm gonna call the haunted. Call the haunted Machoco. That can just fizzle. Like, no. Fucking gospel. Fuck that card. <laughs> Fuck that card. Yeah, like you said, you still have a big old booty, so there's no way I'm getting over you right now. Drowning. So this item is just so fucking useless. I need another. I need another choco. And then even then, if I get another choco, now I gotta find a way to turn off my own vanities because I have no way to turn it off. Oh, I could actually legitimately turn it off. He activates something, and I like strike him or warning him. And the sad thing is, even if I go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning, now since he has a gospel in the graveyard. That doesn't activate, so I can just Utopia the Lightning attack, and then he'll just be like, alright, block from destruction. Now I'm fucked up, so. <laughs> Man, this would be one of those great times because I have that additional Utopia Utopia Lightning. Yay! A duality that can't even activate. Yay, I had twice. Why, why did I set you? Why did I have to draw onto you, and why did I set you? Like, that was dumb. That was probably the biggest misplay of this duel. On my part. <sighs> this duel. <laughs> this duel. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I mean, at least I'm building up resources, and he's pretty much done the escalation of his plays, but I just need to get... I just need to get something. Like, I have nothing to turn this vanities off. Like, that's, that's the suck thing, is that I have nothing to turn the vanities off. He's not activating anything. I can't play anything. Like, if I could just get my last Choco, we'd be okay. And even then, I'd still have to find a way to turn the vanities off. I think my vanity's about to get turned off right now, because he could just get his, uh, Belgrand motherfucker pallet and just run my ass over. Can't, it's not like I could summon from my graveyard and then switch the attack over. Not that would work anyway, he's unaffected. Oh, you got that guy. What's he do? 
Cause I'm so. Cause blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, does this card say? This card is sent to the graveyard. Period. Doesn't it? <gasps> yeah. So he can equip the Arp Rave, and then it would just go back to the graveyard. Level seven or? Shit. I got no more than that. <laughs> The vanities can go away. I think I might be okay. It seems like that was the extent of his plays. We've been kind of taking it slow. Normally, I could probably just go gospel. No? Okay. Hey, right, at least some of my fucking field is free now. Uh, I kind of don't need you. I'd really like to draw into a different card. Problem is, I'm, I'm deck thinning way quicker than him. I might actually deck out <laughs> before he does, so. Wow, never mind. I'm just going to draw into the same exact card. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. So I guess I'm taking it slow this turn. <laughs> John to the same exact fairy girl. As I freed up some space, spark to skill. So I could get over him with Utopia, Utopia right now. I won't be able to activate my, uh, what's it called? But thanks for targeting me. Yeah, I can go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning. Or I can go into Castell, attack into him, flip him back up. That would be more damage, like, I think. I think Utopia, Utopia Lightning is the correct choice. And my turns are also limited. <laughs> I pretty much have to use my effect twice, which sucks. Just on this program. That's because of Gospel. Like, God, that's a stupid card. I really do not know why Konami made that card. Like, yeah, Dragons, the strongest type in Yu-Gi-Oh. They get a fucking Revival card and Protection. Like, awesome. So, I'm gonna have to use my effect to get over him. And then he could just be like, block with Gospel. So. <laughs> and the next turn, he can fuck me real good because he could just go Breakthrough Skill on my Utopia the Lightning. And then attack over my Utopia the Lightning. Like, great. Great. Yeah, I got I got nothing. Like, thanks, Gospel. Thank you. I love that card so much. Hope you guys can tell I'm being facetious. I think this card is stupid. Stupid. They should have never made that card. Oh, and of course, there's another one. Yay. God, Gospel's so broken. <laughs> Why? Why would you give dragons a card like that? You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop. I'm done with this video. This video is duel's taking way too long and. No, just fuck Gospel. I might have won, but Gospel. Revival Dragon and Protection from Destruction? Oh, thank you, Konami. Thank you for making that card, because that's totally what dragons need. The most broken type in Yu-Gi-Oh. No debate. We're done here, because you could just break through scale my Utopia Lightning and just attack over me, and then I can't activate my effect and boost up to 5,000. So that's pretty much the extent of my play, so you got it, you got it. Ugh, that was annoying. Yeah, thank you, I Tomias. Why? Why did I have to draw you? I should have just pitched you to the grave. You're useless. So useless. Anyway, we're done here. So, the special education course is done. Hopefully, I can guilt trip or she'll curve the grade so I can get an A. If not, oh well, I don't care. You know, I passed the class. I mean, yeah, that's all that matters, right? And, I mean, they look at your GPA and teacher, but they're just so desperate for teachers that, and especially math teachers, that I'll get the job on the spot. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we are running at episode of the Daily Duels here. This is episode 993, so only a couple more to go until we are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. I will see you guys next time with some more Daily Duels. We'll, uh, tomorrow we'll be tagging, playing with Radix, and uh, just counting it down. Like I said, you guys can make it to the live stream on the 2nd. That's a Wednesday. It'll be at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, so 12 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, that'd be awesome, and then that'll be it for Daily Duel, so episode 1000. So thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.